good job. It's flexible, especially if you're young, like a student like me. Any job that you're passionate about, so um, you can go there, you're happy, you're feeling challenged by what you're doing, um, but not obviously too challenged that you feel bogged down with all the work. Obviously, pays you fairly, has benefits. Um, one that lets some kind of creative, creative like freedom. When people are there to help you, when people understand your issues, and they try to work with you rather um, than make you do all the work. Yeah, so something that allows you to maybe better one skill from what you had before. Uh, a lousy job. I'd say anything where you're really upset about going to work, you feel like you're unmotivated, it's something that you just really don't want to do, you don't want to be there. A bad job is for probably somewhere where the coworkers don't really uh, hear you, they don't help you out, somewhere where you're not really heard. So basically my idea of a good job is something that pays well, a bit over minimum wage. You're making a difference in someone else's life, but also um, continuing your growth as a person. Where were you um, daily fulfilling yourself? A bad job would probably be one where you just do not feel um, Fulfilled. Something where you're not interested, um, you're not getting new opportunities and... To me, if you get paid well and you have like a terrible boss, that's also a bad job to me. There are several ideas as to what makes a good job. But there's one thing that most young people can agree on. A good job is something you love to do. So how can we get there? If government regulations stop raising the cost of hiring, if universities better prepare students for the demands of potential employers, and if young people had access to career offices that matched them with the right jobs, then we might be heading in the right direction.